<laughs> Zombie flesh. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Kendra Onyx. And I'm Mayday. And you're watching the Boulet Brothers Dragula Titans, Episode 5. Boo! -goo! Boo -goo! <gasps> Mama. So welcome back guys, this is Mayday. She's one of the original members of House of Gorgeous, actually. She was in it before me, but I'm more famous than she is. And I'm here, because I need a job. <laughs> <laughs> I need a job, so. Girl, but honestly, um, thank you so much for having me. Of I'm course. so excited, I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited. This is her first, it's like yes. a virgin. I'm usually on camera, but for other occasions. But this Only is like fans. PG, PG. Let's go ahead and raise our glass. Enjoy. Welcome you here. Cheers yes. to the dome. Don't be a bitch. To the dome. Oh, to the dome. <sighs> okay. I thought you was gonna punk out. <laughs> so the episode opens up and all the contestants are in the boudoir. They're talking about, oh my gosh, I'm super gagged that Victoria was in the bottom. I wasn't gagged she was in the bottom, but come on, girl. I was a little gagged, um, but yeah, it was a little meow, meow, meow. Thank you. So who, who do you think she deserved to be in the bottom? Because I do. Yeah, just like how you guys said previously, um, she's been doing so extra that mm -hmm. when she's doing so little, it's like... It's noticeable yeah, it's for her. Noticeable. And they start to talk, mm -hmm. and they're talking about, you know, the previous challenge, and Melissa goes straight away and just... You know, like Melissa does. For the jugular. Yeah, <laughs> straight to the jugular. And let the bitches know, like, hey, like, what was the tea with last episode? Because a lot of people were being divas, um, being Astrid and Eva Destruction. Yeah, she literally said, no, I went through season one. We was in a trailer, no air conditioning, which is true. Because season two, we didn't have those luxuries at all. Girl. So as Astrid and Eva are trying to plead their case to Melissa, Victoria does her little little sound. You know, I can't do it. You know, I'm a human. But she does her little sound, and then she walks on in. Were you shocked? Um, no. I I'm, I knew they were going to keep her. Absolutely. 100%. America. Yeah. But how gaggy. That would have been gaggy. But th that means that they don't have Universal Studios with them anymore. Period. You know, so while Melissa is chewing up the girls, Coco decides <laughs> to bring up how... <laughs> exactly like that. Coco decides to bring up how there was a lot of sabotaging going on. Uh -huh. um, she said her it? script was missing. Yes. And then pieces of her armor was missing. But at the end of the day, bitch still turned it out. Ass fuck. She really did. Girl. That... In my opinion, okay, there's a couple looks for me, Lil O Kendra, Lil O Kenneth Hampton, I feel will go down in Dragula history. Oh, yeah. One look is definitely my spider look from. <laughs> 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 Bitch, that is infamous. It's infamous. It might not have been good, <laughs> but the challenge, it is infamous. I don't care what nobody say, it is infamous. And you could buy it at Walgreens every no, October. No, Dollar General. <laughs> oh, Dollar General. Dollar General, bitch. Don't do me. Don't do me. No, but I think Frankie's bat will go down in history. Yes. And Coco's barbarian is going to go down in history. Melissa's filth is going to go down in history. Yes. Yes. And that butt plug up that. Sis, that wasn't a butt plug. That was a crucifix. Oh, girl. A crucifix? Can you? Like, she put it in. That was gaggy. Do you think she looped it? No. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so for this week's Fright Feet, they're taking it back all the way to season one and they have to eat a whole pig's brain. If you were there, are, would you would have swallowed that down like Eva did? Okay, so I, little old me, once again, little old Kendra, mm -mm. little old Kenneth Hampton, mm -mm. I knew we were gonna have to eat something I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it was coming. I knew I knew the bobbin for apples wasn't I it. feel like every fry feet, y'all have to put something in your mouth. Ah, uh, hey. The, they, the, they know what we like. Okay. <laughs> they know what we like. That mouth is mouthing. I, I would have done it. I don't know if I would have been able to chew. <sighs> I would have been a swallower. <laughs> I would have said, Erica, 
You're back in the game. Fuck! I would have been so mad if you did that shit. Hell to the no. No? No, no bitches come in that got eliminated behind me and coming in my spot. Fuck that all the way. Log the fuck out. I, I was like, no tapatio, no, no water, nothing. No tahini, no red hot, Nathan. No limon. No, ma'am. As they're eating the pig's brain, Eva is so focused. Victoria is so focused. Melissa's Mexican ass is throwing up. I know. Like, I'm like, girl, I know you eat this shit in a taco. For a second, the way they panned to Coco, I was like, is she gonna like not eat it at all? And oh no. I was I, I would have like, died. I would have died. I would have died. But ultimately, Eva wins. Yeah. She got a big ass mouth, so I'm not I'm really not surprised that she won, to be honest. I congrats. Well, the challenge is basic bitch, and I thought she was gonna take it, so well, good thing she's safe. <laughs> okay, I like that. Here we go. She got spicy. Come on, drink up, drink up, drink up. Drink up. She got spicy. So the prize for this week's Fright Feet is that the winner gets immunity which for this good. week's challenge, which is good. And Eva got it. Congrats yes. to her. Congrats Ooh, to her. Yay! Insert hand cramps. And I'll say that's a good one because at this point, girl, you don't know where the fuck okay. this is going to go. Girl, you can accidentally fart on stage and they be like, you stank, you're, you're going, going home. home. So after Eva wins, they go back into the boudoir so they could talk about their looks and what they're going to do and things. But before and they talk about the looks, we all have to t we all have to know about the... The triangle. At this, at this point, it's the fucking Illuminati. It, at is this it, point, it's a Luma, I don't give a fuck. Is How it real? Uh, is it fake? I will say it's very real, and it's very uncomfortable being in that room while they're having their little... As a viewer. Chit-chat. It's very uncomfortable. So if you think that's uncomfortable, and you guys just... Mm -mm. It's like a snippet of the whole shit that you guys see, you know what I mean? So just being there, seeing all that bullshit, it's... So unnerving. Like, it just makes me like, shut the fuck up, you stupid bitch! I mean, that's how I'm doing it in the <laughs> screen. That's <laughs> obviously how I'm doing it in the screen. But listen, since they're throwing it in our face, we might as well talk about it. Astrid likes Hoso, uh, Abora, yada, yada, yada. Like, but what I don't understand is, like, how even they even mentioned it. Like, Hoso is, like, poking the bear, as, as they say, and then, like, goes, ah! Yeah, she's very much you throwing know? stones and hiding hands. So it's like Abora is over or here. They're showing us that she's throwing stones and hiding hands. I'll say that. Yeah, Abora is over here being a punching bag, like having to deal with the whole yeah. thing. And, and listen, I'm not in there. You were in there. I don't know how she really is, but it's like, damn. It, it look, it, it's draining. It's, it's draining. draining for us, and it looks like it's wearing thin on them, like really thin. And then they, the to, the cherry on the top of the cake, especially for this episode, is they they pair off. So Astra yeah. decides to ask Koso. Mind you, I I, I I don't remember exactly where um Abora was standing, but I feel like Abora was like right here, and she goes, "Will you be my prom date?" <laughs> she went, <laughs> She's like, "Excuse me, would, would you be my prom date?" And then everybody has a prom date, and Abora is just sitting there like. Who shot John and the person that found the body? Yeah, it, it's a little, it's a little heartbreaking. It is, but a board tries to make light of the situation and goes with the mannequin. But it's like now, then, uh, then Hoso's like, once everything's boiled over, he's like, oh no, 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 that was really fucked up, baby. You Crying started it and participated. Yes, willingly, willingly. So nobody was like this, bitch. You better do that shit. Nobody. So while the dolls are getting ready, Coco decides to ask. So. What was that whole discussion about when we walked into that room again? And they went to talking, Ashley started telling them, hey, it was about the whole triangle thing again. Oh. And Coco was like, girl, again? I feel like Coco's reaction was everybody sitting at home and girl. everybody in the boudoir. Girl. Literally, she took the, she was like, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> And then she said that shit. Like, literally. She what was, was confused. The little memory. Hey! We got a drink. Haha, <laughs> Gia. You know how to. Just as much as we're over it, 
she's motherfucking over yeah, it. Yeah, Coco was done. And she let them have it. <laughs> she really let them have it. And was, get your head in the game. Because it's redundant. It's like, if if you haven't squashed it or at least like Fuck. circle jerked at this point, then girl, let it go. I let mean, it they, go. they should just triangle jerk and get it over with. Get it over with. Yes. Have a threesome. Throw or someone through. pull the lever and one of them has to fall down. Or all three. All three. I'm okay. Well, not wholesome. All three. <laughs> <laughs> so for this week's floor show is Zombie Prom. As you know, I'm dressed in my prom's best. <laughs> so what'd you think about this theme? I loved it. I loved it. I, I loved how they, you know, they meshed the basic bitch and the zombie. Yeah. And even the way they video recorded it and they shot it, it was... It was gaggy. I was gagged. I this was, was gagged. definitely one of the challenges that I wanted to do really bad. Yes. Really, yes. really bad. It would have been amazing. It would have been gorgeous. But you guys will see the pictures. Because you're really, not only are you good at like serving a, like the whole Dragula horror filth, but you also know how to do just like glamour. Like you're really good at glamour. And I'm, ju I'm not just like. She needs to come back. Oh my God. She needs to come back. <laughs> I'm, not just, I'm not just stroking her ego because she, really, really though, like she is oh. a glamour girl. A, oh, how do you call yourself? A glamour ghoul. A glamour ghoul. A glamour ghoul. Down. Oh, thanks. That's all you get. I know that was really sweet. How do you feel? I know it hurts for you to say nice things to me. Does this hurt? I'm gonna fuck you up, <laughs> stupid bitch. So first off, we have Abora, and they decided to do a cheerleader. And I was a little confused, but I don't know. Like, I was kind of living for it. I was okay. living for it. What, what, what about you? What do you think? Um, I, I know it was zombie prom. I get it. I, I get what they were going for. One, I will say that their regular makeup has come light years from the second season. Mm, I think, from the second season? Well, I thought that makeup was very reminiscent of her basic bitch, basic bitch challenge. Mama. No? No, the second season, they were... I can't even find nothing gray. They were gray. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally, I'm trying to find. They they were gray. This time they they had a contour and a highlight. They did. They did. But I I got where they were going with it. I just wish. First of all, I wish there was no corset. Abor is already like this this skinny. Yeah. What you need a corset for? And I just wish that. Since they were like the prom, not the prom, but like the cheerleader, I felt like they should have went with the story. Like I'm a cheerleader that got expelled and couldn't go to prom. So it's totally. like if they would have did like the cheerleading pose and then turned around and been pregnant, because like back in the '80s and like I feel like that was the theme, the vibe of this. It was like, no, girl, you can't go to prom like that. You know what I mean? So I thought if they would have did that, that would have, they probably would have won the challenge. TBH. Yeah, well, because I was thinking like, oh, well, there's been like people that go to oh. events with cheerleading outfits, but that's like homecoming. homecoming. Yeah, homecoming. That's when I was like, oh, no. yeah. But then you have to think, didn't she walk in to the, to the boudoir in like a prom or like a... A gown. Right? And she had like a sash. So I feel like maybe she had to do this because she already did something that was similar. That's what I think. Mm, well, I'm giving which is a stretch. Up. Which is a stretch. You, um, you're, you're, you're reaching for reaching. the two thumbs. I'm giving her one. I'm gonna go like this, just because she wasn't all the way prom. But I liked it though. It was basic as fuck. Basic one. Not, basic, not the theme. One. <laughs> Next up, we have Eva Destruction, and she was like a kind of nerdy prom character. It very reminded me of Never Been Kissed, Josie Grossy. No. Okay, so Gia, you got this one. Yeah. <laughs> but, what do you think about her look? Mm, basic, to yeah. me, yes. Uh -huh. Did I like it? No. Because she was... Okay, she was hairy. Uh huh. And to me, that was like, oh, you're giving me like a werewolf. Uh, teen Wolf. But that's 
That's not prom. prom the, the zombie prom. How gaggy would have it, would have been if she came out fully shaved? Girl, that would have been a key. Yes. I, I, it would have been a key. Yes. To me, that's like, okay, you're already like, okay, Dragula. But like, if you're a basic bitch, you would have been fully woman down. Like, fully shaved, you know, whatever. Like, you're the basic bitch, according to the Blade Brothers, you know? T. That would have been gaggy. But then she came out looking, to me, like... More basic than basic? No, it was like a full moon. <laughs> I oh, I didn't hate this look. You know what I mean? I didn't hate it, but I wasn't like, yes, mama, yes, God, on tonight. It was there. It gave me like her circus, when she did the whole circus in her season. It was not that bad. It was not that bad. That one was horrible. This one was horrible. Oh my god. <laughs> it was still corny to me. I'm gonna give this look a uh, one thumb up. Yeah, I'll give it a one thumb up. Okay. I'll give it a one thumb up. So next up, we have Astrid. And they went for Pretty and Pink. Pretty and Pink, which was a running theme. Um I okay, so from my understanding is the Boulay brothers think that a basic bitch is just a regular degular pretty girl. Yes. Right? Um, so for that, I feel like she nailed the assignment. But there wasn't anything really inventive or... There wasn't anything eye-catching. Yeah. She said, I mix 80s prom with pageant, but I didn't really get I it. I don't see that one yeah. piece of... Maybe the jewelry's pageant? The, the jewelry is very, like, now, though. Very pretty. It, but, no, the jewelry was cunt. Yeah. But uh, for me... Little? Little old me, little old Kendra. I... Uh, okay, let me dissect this. Dissect it, baby. So from the hair, I... I know that Asher got this wig made for this. I know this. But for me, it looked like a wig that was made three weeks ago... She was like, oh my God, I need a wig to put on. Um, uh, Boom, I'm gonna put this one on. Get on up, do, uh -huh. do, do, do. get on up, ha, 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 get on up, uh, uh, uh. And then put it right back on the head. And then was like, you know what? This wig was for this challenge, so I'm, I'm putting it on. It doesn't look fresh. You know what I mean? The mug is beat. Astra, yeah. I think Astra can yeah. beat a mug. The dress is a meow, meow, meow around the house. For me. Very. It's okay. very meow, meow, meow around the house. Okay. I would have worn it off the shoulder to give it, you know, a little decolletage. And, I mean... If, yeah, it felt very <sighs> granny. It, felt it was very, very yeah. matron. Very matron. Very matronly. Matron. It wasn't ugly. It was matron. Yeah, especially because, like, she's been... Edgy. Trying to, yeah, she's like, been she, trying to, like, up the ante and, like, be different and stuff like that. But she and they just kind of felt like... Like how they said, middle of the road. Not even middle I don't even of the think road. It, that's yeah. not middle of the road for me. Yeah. That's two thumbs down for me. Yay. Sorry about that. Like that? Yeah. Same. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> so next we have Hoso Teratoma. And what'd you think about Hoso's look? I... I liked it. Uh -huh. I liked it because they are really good at meshing their culture with the challenge at hand. Yeah, very and, much so. Um, the color palette was the same like everybody else's. Well, most of everybody. Um, I felt like the silhouette was gorgeous. Yeah. I loved it. I loved the whole like, I don't know what you would call like. Kimono? Is that the kimono? Mm -hmm. That's the kimono. It was like kind of like a kimono, yeah, like a wrap. I like that. I really like how they, like how the judges said. I really wish she would have regressed her makeup and made it more, like you know, more feminine. Like when she did the glamour for her season, when she was top four, if she would have did that yes. face, they would have had nothing to say. Yes, nothing. I love this look on Hoso. It was very, like you said, when she married her culture with the challenge, it was very kimono-esque. 
very Barbie-esque. She had the blonde, yes. the big blonde hair, yes. the pink dress, the pink jewels. I didn't understand the lily pad. Well, that's also, like I said, where she mesh, where she meshes her culture. Like, oh, okay. you know, she's School using me. something, she's using something that's, you know, typically like a standard in, in her culture, you know, like something mm -hmm. that's pretty, the flower. And I got that. And I really love the message. What do you think about the message? The message was beautiful. Uh, uh, I felt like they didn't, the you didn't, well, like the, the words in the back, like saying slut or like the she slut. She is a slut. Thing. Well, so am I. And I love you, just like I love Hoso. But I don't slut shame. It's about visibility. Uh, Hoso is very like, you know. She's very sex positive, very yes. this is me, take me or leave me. If you don't like me, fuck you. If you like me, let's fuck drink. Me. <laughs> <laughs> very that. So, okay, with, with that said, the message was very, it was very Hoso. Yes. I loved it. I give this two thumbs up. I Here give it go. two thumbs up. Two. So next up we have Coco Kane and like all the other bitches, the color palette is the same, but she went a different route. She went a more like ball gown. Yeah, I get ball gown. Ball from gown. That. I like it, but just because everyone's doing that same color palette, I felt like it was like. Uh... But out of all the pink dresses, I like this one the best. I like it because. It's two tones of pink. Two tones, and also when they were, you know, talking about their looks and everything, uh -huh. she was doing it. She was yeah. making her own outfit. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty and sure she made that yeah, there. Yeah, she made that outfit, and I'm living. Yeah. It, if she made it, I'm living. It looks so good. From her big-ass hair, the mug is stamped. Always. And it, it's, it's, Always. And she even added, like, you know, the typical, the white um, eyeliner like she usually does. She added those, but she still looks so soft and so cut yes. and so boost, boost, boost. That's like supposed to make it more like glass like, am I? Uh oh. I don't know. I'm porcelain. Porcelain, right? I, I guess. Uh, shit. Yeah. Yo, guess is good, good, mine. Let me see. Black girl no, magic. Black. Hey, always. always. Black girl rotting. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so Coco's look was giving me very Princess Peach from Mario. Totally. Right? Like, if she would have had like the little crown, I would have fucking died. Okay, now that you're saying that and looking at this picture right it's here. It's Princess that Peach been down. Cute. It's so Princess Peach down. And I love it, I love it, I love it. Peach, Super Mario, I got that reference. Ew. Yes, that's mm. Tujia. Where you at? <laughs> but I, I really like this look from head like to toe. It. I like it too. I'm gonna give it two thumbs up. Part of my alliance. Fuck it all. So next up we have Miss Victoria Elizabeth Black. And twat did you think about her look? I loved yes, it. Yes, I yes, loved yes. it. Yes. Compared to what she did last week, this was... Light years. Light, light years. years. This is what... I feel like this is what they were talking about if she scales it down, but still gives you a pop. Yes, yes. The body is there. The body is right. The body is super right. The shape is bomb. You know me, I love a mermaid gown. And this yes. is a mermaid gown. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> I thought about you too when I saw that. I was like, oh, Kendra was Victoria, love that. I know you watch the movie, yeah. so I want this in mint. Okay, but let's talk about that makeup. Because it, <sighs> we're gonna talk about basic bitch. That's probably the only thing that's basic about it. Yeah. And it's the same makeup that she did last week. It is. Like if she was at, like, you know, broad daylight or something. Yeah. This is like a brunch mug that's outside brunch mug. Mm, I don't paint that light. I, and I, we do brunch. I don't, yeah. We do brunch. Working girls. But the hair was whooped. The hair was whooped. The earrings were right. The earrings The were outfit right. was right. I wanted an opera length glove on her. I agree. Her glove like stopped like here. I would have loved it like right here. Yes. And I feel like it should have been in the same hot pink as the bow to tie the bow in. Mm, I don't think. Well, obviously it was out of their controls, but I'm like, Ugh, another pink gown. Yeah. Another I mean, gown. hey, but the, whatever they made there is what they made there. True. But, but, out of, but out of everybody, who do you think was like the best? The pink best gown? pink gown? <sighs> I'm so torn. I feel like I feel like Coco and Elizabeth is right here. Who's who's tipping it over that? 
Coco for me. Okay. The mug. Okay. okay. The mug. The mug. Yeah, because the mug right here. It, yeah. Well, it's, it, okay. it's on. It's on. It's on because it has to be on. But. <laughs> <laughs> Am I lying? I'll stop you when you start lying. <laughs> but I'm just like, okay, compared to like, you know, her special effects and all of that. And then when she actually has to do drag, drag. Uh, which is a pillar. Yes. It starts with, It starts off with drag. drag. Horror, filth, glamour. Yes. So it's just like, when I see a little bit of, you know, five o'clock shadow, to me, little old mayday, little old, I'm not gonna disclose my legal name. Um, it's a little, the man is manning. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> but other than that, other than that, I do give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. So next up we have the queen of all queens, Melissa B. Fierce. And how about we start with you? What do you think Girl, of her? Girl, when I tell you, I remember when Melissa pulled this Hold dress. Hold on, you wanna talk about makeup? Let's talk about makeup. Stamped. 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 Last challenge and this challenge. When I tell, I, I kid you not. She pulled this dress out, cause we, you know we were talking. She pulled this dress out and everybody was like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. did she shut this glamour category oh, down? All the way down. Only one with the crown, first of all. And the, none of these bitches I have crowns. one. I have one. None of these, well yeah, none of these bitches had crowns. None, I'm like, she was she was the prom queen and everybody else was just nominated. Girl, they didn't even make it to prom. I, I, <laughs> I Well, I know Coco didn't make it to prom. She made it to the back seat of somebody's car. Okay. Cause I know her. The principal. Uh, oh, huh. <laughs> <laughs> she was on the desk. <laughs> Let me get that A. Let me get she, that A. Fuck the crown. I want, <laughs> I want straight A. Straight A. She got him. <laughs> she got, but Melissa, she had the bouquet. She had the sash. She had the crown. She had the mug. She had the jewels, the check, bow, check, the fucking check, gloves, check, the gown. Check. The pointing. Yes. Oh. Well, that, okay. That's pageant. But it's like zombie prom. I get it. I get it. I get it. No, the, I'm not taking away anything from her. But it's like, so, when well, they were like basic bitch, and I was like, I felt offended because I'm like, damn, when I do drag, I look like, why well, try to look like that? Girl. So am I basic? She. Oh my God. But this is quintessential. This is Melissa. Yeah, Melissa. This is Melissa working six Melissa. nights a week. This is a workhorse. This is another workhorse. And and the dress is something that I'm like, damn, I would wear the fuck out oh, of that. Oh, out of yeah. it. Yeah. It was so gorgeous. The body is the correct. color. The color. Just the color alone. Yes. The, the fact, color the, alone. The fact, the, the fact that she was like, I know these bitches were all gonna wear pink, so I'm not gonna do that. Thank you. I wasn't gonna do pink either. But I didn't even think that was like the running thing. I didn't think so either. Yeah. I would have probably did what I was gonna do, which is a lavender, a mint, mint. or a red. Yes. Or maybe an orange. Congrats to her. A orange or? Mm. On my skin? Orange. Yes. Come on. But who the fuck is wearing orange at prom? A black girl with chocolate skin? Uh huh. A melanin around? Uh huh. What do you give this melanin? Oh, row? two, 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 two! I wish it was something higher. Shit. You put your thumbs up. They're putting them up in the back, too. You got all of them, Melissa. It's not, it's not, not yet? You know we'll, what? We'll, we'll get, no. You know what? Let, let's you know wait, what? Let's wait till the zombie. No, hold on, hold on. Are, are, we ju are we judging them by glamour and zombie or just one and one? But is it prom? You know what? <laughs> All right, so now that we're done with the Glamour Girls, so in high school. 10 years ago. Dang, Jesus. You don't have to say I'm, it. I'm not. Don't say it. I'm not, because, you know. But what were you on? Were you on ASB, yearbook? I was Behind in, the bleachers? I never was, I didn't, I didn't lose my virginity until after high school. I don't know about you. Lies. The truth, I didn't drink until I was 21. 
Really? Yes. I was. Very, I'm a pastor's kid. I'm a preacher's kid. I was very innocent for a long time. But anywho, I, <laughs> yeah, don't do me. <laughs> I was in student council. I was varsity tennis. I did the debate team. I was head cheerleader. I was drama club president for two years. I, Damn. yeah, I was very, very. Any, anything that would keep me after school so I didn't have to go straight the fuck home like my mama told me to do. Oh, I feel that. <laughs> what were you in? I was just in yearbook and a little behind the bleachers. Yes. Were you? Capturing moments. You're such a hoe. No. I love it. Oh. You know who was a hoe? That band team. I'm sure. Oh, all the right? band. All yes. the band. Okay, so in Pomona. Out, when I found that out, I was like, I in picked Pomona, the wrong thing. All the band geeks were fucking. Yes. All of them. Yes. There was one very, very sexy one. I forgot his name. He was like, he was bald. Not in my year. I don't know if he was like bald already, but he was bald. He was Latino, of course. It was Pomona. Built. I was like, damn. You picked the wrong I subject. Need to be in band. <laughs> no, I play, I was in band in middle school. Got kicked out for talking too much. But I was in like a little dance team with my friends that we just decided to create. Yo, we're trying to be on um America's Best Dance Crew. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I got my little dance moves. No, I'm just kidding. That's it though. I was pretty lame. Huh? I don't. Look up Mayday, J Lo Night, and Mickey's. And you can see her dance. Look up Kendra Onyx, 340 Nightclub. And you might find where her tuck pops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it was all the way out. It's about three videos of those. She, she was out, <laughs> dick and balls. <laughs> not, not even just dick, dick and no bubble gum. Full meal. It was, yeah. <laughs> it was eggs, veg. Wait, what is it? Sausage and two veg. How do you green say eggs it? and ham. It was green. Well, no, don't do me. Don't do me. <laughs> Shut up! You made my flower fall out. You stupid bitch. Oh. So next up we have the actual zombie prom, and first up is none other than Eva Destruction. What do you think about that? I didn't like it. Okay. And let me tell you why. What, I remember when I used to go to Party City, you know, you go, get in line, and you get the regular, regular costumes. And then there's this one section where you're like, oh my god, the premiere costumes. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> the ones that cost like above $70 uh -huh. with like the fat, you, they might have to get ordered to the, to the actual Party City. That's what this gave me. The dress was Party City, I'm sorry. The the little fake hand was Party City. The intestines, which was just a rope, was Party City. It just gave me Party City. And just like how that judge told Hoso, like, why is your hair not incorporated into the zombie look? Her hair was pristine. Isn't she a zombie? Okay. I see what you're saying, but I mean, by all means, this is not getting two thumbs up. I'm gonna just tell you, you know, I love you, Eva. But I, for me, I don't like when queens get like the fake body parts and don't change them. Yes. Like it's too easy to put some liquid latex on that and a little bit of tissue, some blood, and it would have looked real. But it looks, no, that looks fake. No, no, no. I said if she would have changed it. Okay. It's too easy. And I just I, I want more blood, more slime, more crimson. Yes. I did I I like the hair, actually. I did. It was big, it was 80s. She but, had her glasses in them. But, I, I thought that was corny. But see how you did your hair? It's like, let's say you weren't this, your hair would have been nicely coiffed, yeah. yada yada yada. Now that you're a zombie, you know, it's distressed and yeah. and, and all that. That's not what she's giving. That's not what she's giving, though. The story. You you understood, like, okay, this bitch is rotted and all this stuff. With or without the makeup, Ew. this bitch is rotted. I'm gonna fuck you <laughs> up. <laughs> okay, so you're not liking this. So what are you gonna score her? Huh? No, let's keep talking about it. 
<laughs> you know, I wish she would have given full zombie down. So for that, just because she's also save, I'm gonna give it mid. Mids. I, I'm gonna give it mids as well. Mids, mids, mids. Thank God. She's safe. Eva's safe yes. this week. And my damn nails just keep falling off. I'm rotting. So next up we have Coco Kane. And what did you think about their look? I really liked it. Mm -hmm. I really liked it. And she imp she impressed me once again. Yeah. You know? Not only did she do a lot of cool things like the whole bones mm -hmm. and sticking out and everything, but the makeup, like they mentioned, was zombie down yes. for me. Yes. For me. It, it looked it looked raw. Rotted. Yeah, it looked like, like it smelled. Putrid, yes. oozing. Yes. And I love that she was so sexual with it. I love that about it. It gave me very, okay, yes. I'm giving you a movie reference. I, Night of the Living Dead 3, when she changed. When she changed it to the zombie, and the only way she could not eat brains was to mutilate herself? No. Julie? I know a Julie. Okay, you know a Julie. <laughs> <clears throat> but it looked rotted, and and her hair was already kind of disheveled, uh -huh. but she just made it extra, and that's what I like about it, because- and it was blood, it was blood. I could yes. tell there was blood in the hair, there was blood on the clips. Yes. And I, I love that she kept the clips. It. I love that she kept the clips. I loved it, it, it gave it like a sense of camp. Yeah, and the and the bones. Like, how come no one thought of that? Only Coco. Only Coco. Oh, only Coco. That, the, that should be a hashtag. Only, only Coco. Coco. And the sexuality. It was great. It, it was, was like she great. was getting fucked by a zombie, and the only way she turned into a zombie is because she took that seed. <gasps> is that what you was going for? You took the seed and turned into a zombie. Because you all. Girl. What? <laughs> Where can I find that seed? <laughs> In the graveyard. <laughs> Tonight. We dance until we die. And what do you give her? Two. No, you know what? She get this. Boom! Oh! From me to night. <laughs> You're gonna get two, mama. <laughs> Good job. Okay, so next up we have Hoso Teratoma. And let's start with you. What do you think of it? Um, I liked this. This gave me very Resident Evil, yes. very... Resident Evil. Girl, we gonna be Dries Nye at the end of this. We're gonna? <laughs> I liked it as well. Yeah. But I'm very, 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 very glad that finally the Boulay brothers are finally saying, girl, it's a lot of the same. Yes. She's She wore her promo look at least three times already. Am I, am I lying? I'll stop you when you start lying. This one was a little different, but like, I get it, she has that signature makeup. She does, she has a signature she, makeup, but, but, we know, but we know she could do more than that. Yes. We know she could do more than that. And I feel like, uh, I don't wanna say this, it say sounds it. mean. I feel like she already feels like, oh, I'm, a, I'm cool, I'ma just, you know, I'ma sail through this and. Going through everything that she does. You know what I mean? Way. So yeah. it's not like she's taking risks. But that's and I what it's want, about. I want her to take risks. Yes. But this this overall is great. The only thing I do not like about this look is the fake intestines. Yes. Party like they're, they're so easy to make. Eva, they're super duper easy to make. Eva and Hosa went shopping together. It was like, Eva was like, oh girl, I'm gonna take these off. Here you go, sis. Mm -hmm. Use them, you got this. You know what I mean? It was, it was zombie and it was Resident Evil. Very but, Resident but, Evil. But was it, but was it? Zombie, or was it like mutation? That's what I'm trying to it get was, at. It was a mutation of the zombie virus. How about that? Well, sh that was a stretch just like those intestines. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give it uh, one thumb up. Same. Also, you get one thumb up. Yeah. You're doing good, sweetie. But Keep it up. Keep it up. 
So next up is Abhora. And how did you feel about their look? I loved it. Okay. I loved it because it was, like how they said, brilliant. And only because the zombie and the color, like the color palette. I did like that. The mm-hmm. color palette was really good. And just the way they looked, it was it was creepy. It was it, creepy and it gave me zombie. A lot of people, a lot of people that were doing the challenge were trying to get zombie, but I felt like they weren't really giving the zombie, like the actual like mm-hmm. zombie. Yes, it was like a different color and everything, but I felt the zombie. That's the part I it. liked about it. Yeah, I liked that it was a different color. It gave me very old school. Yes. Like yes. 70s yes. when they were like blue and minty zombie. It also gave me what like she was rotting, you mm-hmm. know, like she got his mm-hmm. hair off. And I will say, my breastplate made another cameo. That's yours? Absolutely. Oh my god. Absolutely. Yours wasn't ripped up like that though. That was the ripped up one. Oh, oh you did the old one, the old one, the old one. Oh, yes, yes. So I have been, I mean, since I've been eliminated, I was on D&D. Hoso had my feather in her hair. Abora had my titties on. So, Last I mean, time. she put some titties on, bitch. So, what's next? But, overall, I did like this look. Me too, me too. The way they, the way... They distressed the fucking costume was really cool. The only thing I didn't like was the simple fact that like, it was like a rib cage and then like the titties were just sitting there. Yeah, if she would have, if she would have spray adhesive them, made them like Like they were flopping. Flopping. They, they, those titties was clapping. My question, when the fuck did you rip them up like that? No, 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 no. They weren't ripped up yet. They were they were old. Uh-huh. I needed a new one. I got a new pair. So I was actually, for my zombie, my zombie was going to have, like, jumbly-ass mm-hmm. titties, but I was going to fill my titties with mm-hmm. something that, and, you know, it was going to flow out. Abora understands, like, a story, and yes. she really translates it to the audience. And, I will and say you that. get it. And you get it. Yes. It's not prom, yada, yada, yada. It's high school. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it gives you prom high school. Prom is high school. Yeah. High school is cheerleading. Yes. And it's, compared to everyone else, it's way different. And that's what makes it so unique. Mm-hmm. Yes, there's like a, like slight little flaws, but in a way, slight? I feel like there's a lot of flaws, but. I liked it. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like. <sighs> I, I know like we shouldn't forgive it, but like I feel like I feel like that's Abora, you know, like oh. just rougher, like real rough around. So is Abora? Never mind. I'm not. It is say rough that. around. Scratch that. It's rough around the. It's rough around the edges, and to me, there needs to be. I know it's regular. There needs to be some sort of polish or like refinement, you know, in in every look that you do. Like the titties should not be flopping. They should not be flopping and all this other stuff. And she is messy. She but can't even walk in heels. She's a, yeah. but, she, but it's but it's good. Like and they said you they, get it. She fell even in, in her the basic, normal look. Yes. Not even in the zombie look. I'm like, come on. Like the zombie look would have been forgivable. You know what I mean? Yes. But okay, so what do you give Abora? Just because of the concept and and where she's going at, I know it's messy as fuck, but. Two? Two. Whoa! One. I'm just gonna do one. I'm doing one. So next up we have Astrid Aurelia. And... Go. Astrid. Wait, hold on, go. Okay. Positives. The back bend was great. That's it? Let me say, I, let it, me say it, this. It, it was weird to me. I, I didn't get the face piece. What did it give you? It gave me romper room. It gave me someone that's dressed up as a zombie so they don't get eaten up by zombies so they could survive. Oh, yes! Did it not give you that? 
A hundred percent. I'll give you that. It gave me Walking Dead when they put the guts and stuff all over them to walk she around. She said, girl, let me make sure. <laughs> let me make sure I don't get eaten up. Hold on. <clears throat> That's yes. what it gave me. Yeah, it didn't give me zombie. It didn't it, give me it, zombie. I, I, I did not get zombie out of that. It, I didn't get the, the face piece with the me teeth either. on it. I didn't get the teeth and the the pudenda. At least she didn't vogue. It, well, you know what? This was a miss for me. I'm going to just be real. It was a miss for me. It was a miss. Just because... It didn't read zombie. Like it felt like I'm trying to like cons- I'm trying to like blend in with the zombies. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to survive this whole shit. I never thought about that. That's what it you gave. You gotta work. Not only are we drag queens, we're detectives. Yes. So, with you saying that now, that does give me that I'm a human that don't want to get attacked by the zombies. Down. Down. Now, if that was a challenge, oh, she won. it would be two thumbs up. Yeah. But since it wasn't. Yeah, I'm going to give it two thumbs down. I'm sorry. The effort was there. I mean. The effort was there. She did a back bend. Was the effort there? She did a back bend. But what, because what, zombie, this, what zombie is doing mating calls? But this compared to the first episode look. What first episode? When um when she was the host and it was like very like shape of water stone drapey, so was the effort actually there, or was it like I'm gonna just you know I'm a sell by. But did fun. she do the shape of water, or did she pay for it? No, she did it. She did it. Yeah, she made that. And she made that as well. She made that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you made it. She made it. <laughs> okay. she made it. So next we have Victoria Elizabeth Black and her zombie. And twat, do you think about this? B. Yes. Yes. The fact. Yes. The fact that it was yes. already fashion and glamour, and it just went beyond yeah. when it went to the zombie part. I was gagged. It gave me one hundred percent. Like somebody saw this zombie, was like, "Fuck, I need to get away from this bitch." And then they wrapped her up in her own bow. I loved it. It looked like the. Not only was the challenge to be a zombie, but she made her costume flip upside down like the challenge. Yes. Like it's like the 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 costume was inside out. Brilliant. And she even changed the color of her skin as well and it was yellow. Mm Mm-hmm. Which you really I've really never seen a yellow zombie. It was great. great. It was great. great. It was great. It was great. It was great. And I love that it was gory and it was, you know, horror and everything, but she kept that drag element. Yes. It kept yes. the drag element. It was campy with, without being so, so campy and corny. You were destruction. And it was great. Like, it was already, it was already like high fashion as it is. <laughs> it was already, it, it was, was already, it, it was, was already, so having, it, but it just good. went beyond. Like, the fact that she wrapped herself in, in the, in the ribbon, I was like, ugh. Yeah. Ugh. Tens. Tens, tens. Are we doing it? Is this, I'm, is, I'm is down. this it? Is this it? Yeah! You, yes. knocked, you knocked that's that out a of double. the part. That's you a double. That out of the part, baby. So lastly, we have none other than Melissa B. Fierce. And let's start with you. What do you think of the look? I'll say it. She fumbled the ball. Yeah. She fumbled. And and oh, I and I say this only because we know Melissa. Yes. And she can paint a mug, whether it's glamorous or scary oh, yes. AF. In like minutes. Minutes. And the fact that she came out like that, it was like, what happened? Like to me, I was like, what happened? Like what, what was going on? You know, because I know that that's not something that she would go out with. Granted, she sold the f- Oh, absolutely. She, sold- she performed yes. the hell out of this. It gave me more The Hills Have Eyes. Have you seen that? Yeah, yes. Yes or no? Yes, I have. For real? I have. I have. Okay. 
Cause you you was guessing. <laughs> it gave me more of the hills have eyes versus zombie. But I what I will say, she still had that crown on. She did. <laughs> she, did. <laughs> she still let had it, that crown let it be on. Known. Let, let it be known. And also, she was the only one that got attacked by a zombie and lost a shoe. Apparently, everybody could run with heels on because nobody else lost a shoe but Melissa. So for me, the story was there. The story was there, but the execution, there was no execution to me. Because <sighs> once the lights, when, when, when they started deliberating uh -huh. and the lights were actually on her, I was like, she has no makeup on. She has no makeup on. She had she had the bacon strips on her body. Not Kelly Mantle. <laughs> Not <laughs> Kelly Mantle. But I But she had the she had the bacon strips on her body and there wasn't that much makeup. Regardless of that, her performance, her performance, it was stellar. Yes. It was stellar. Like the whole like smashing her her bouquet. And I loved it. Crazy. It was so out of everybody. I was like, whoa! Oh yeah, whoa! Sh she got bit yeah. and transformed. Exactly. Everybody was like, and, and it's not like it's not like she couldn't do it or like this was not whatever. Like I felt like she just really fumbled the ball. Like, I I felt like she tried to do something that she normally yeah, doesn't do. That's what it was. And it like In my she opinion. fumbled. Yeah, to me. But we know. Yeah. Like. The girl, the doll, she could paint a mug. Oh, if anyway. she wanted to do the zombie without the prosthetics, she would have done zombie. Dance. Absolutely. Yeah. I felt like she felt like she needed to add yeah. prosthetics. Yeah. And I just wish she didn't feel that pressure. Yes. And she would have just painted it on. Mm hmm Because if she would have painted it on this, that, painted it on zombie, and her glamour, she would have won the challenge. Yes. I agree. 100. I agree. Because nobody touched her glamour. No. I'm still going to give this. I'm going to give it a thumb up. I'm sorry. Itu. I'm sorry. Performance wise, performance wise. You have to calculate everything. Okay. So the winner of the challenge ultimately is Victoria Elizabeth Black. Do you agree with that? I agree. And the biggest twist so far in the show is the Boulets tell her that what? That what? That she gets to choose who is the bottom two. Girl, that, that got I really loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Ooh. That's when you look, you start looking around like, oh my God. Did I cuss out Victoria one day? Have I been mm -hmm. mean to her? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I would have been sweating if I was still there. Not really, because we sisters now. But but you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't mm -hmm. know. Because Victoria is a wild card to yes. me. Victoria is a very wild I mean, card. Yeah. They open up the cauldron, and Victoria's just like, and then she tells the girls that I'm going to put everything in account. The boudoir, the challenge, the judges, critiques, everything. And Melissa's all, oh, don't forget, girl. The love triangle, don't forget that, sis. I don't want you to forget that. So, you know, I think that skewed her how judgment we, how, a little bit. How can we forget that? It's I, seared I, in our mind. I'd like to forget it. Me too. But that whole love triangle is very important because it's really narrowing down like what is really important in this competition right now it's is it raining yeah it's raining is it, it is the love triangle more important or is the actual like competition and and the winning camaraderie this yeah winning this crown like who's good enough to battle it out at the end and it's not no fucking love triangle it's not i'm this sorry is, this is not dragula search for the next love no this is dragula search for the next drag super monster not even that it's titans tight Tins, not girl, not no. This is, this is not love connection. No, you know love connection. No. Oh, uh, <laughs> she's young, guys. She's young. She's young. She's young. I know the. Real I know love. you love love connection. You don't know love connection? It sounds. Like <gasps> Am I aging myself? Me either. I don't know it either. I heard it from my parents. 
She's a boomer. So who would you have picked for the bottom two? I don't know because we ha we had the basic bitch challenge and we had the zombie challenge, mm -hmm. right? And I felt like some drag queens or drag entertainers did really good in the basic part and a lot of them did really good in the zombie part. So it's kind of like iffy, but for sure, for sure, for sure, Victoria Elizabeth Black, home run. Uh -huh. Bottom two, I th to me, Eva Destruction and Astrid Aurelia. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. What about you? For me? You know me, I'm, a, I'm this. Let's stir the drink. Not stir the pot, stir the drink, baby. Guzzle, guzzle. I would've did Astrid and Hoso. Why Hoso? Why not? True. It's my choice. Out of everybody, Astrid Aurelia for me. Astrid was definitely in the bottom. Yeah. I could, for me, if I was in that position, I definitely wouldn't have picked Melissa or Coco or Victoria. Those are my alliance. And, and it's so- I cut enough. Yeah, true. I, I respect that. I but, cut enough. You know, Melissa did really, really good in the basic bitch challenge, but she did really, really bad in the but basic challenge. But in the basic bitch challenge, she shitted on everybody. 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 She, I feel like she shit it so hard on everybody. It was like, I don't give a fuck what she do in the second challenge. Yeah. I didn't, I, I, let's be, come on. Who touched Melissa in the first challenge? Nobody, because even Who though- Who was even on her heels in the first challenge? Nobody, because Period. makeup, outfit, and everything was done. And I agree with that. And I will add that hair that Melissa did, she did that in oh she did ten everything minutes. oh ten and I watched Melissa do that hair Girl. ten like ten minutes Girl. I kid you not I don't ten minutes I believe you I believe you but Victoria is also in that lane though she, yes it's like a, she does everything she can and, do hair she can do costumes yes. she can do prosthetics that's why I think like she she knocked out of the park she really so, did it's so weird that like, she was good in both yes. sections and I really liked Abora. Because you did. Of, because of the because of you the did. because of the concept and how she conceptualized everything, but did she fulfill the assignment? No, absolutely not. And I feel like a Bora one with a prom is in high school. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it, it was very like a stretch. It was a stretch. Reaching. It was a stretch. Reaching. And you know, I'm not there. I don't know the whole full T, so you know well, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> You're here. <laughs> but Abora, I felt like Abora really did have a clear concept and, and it was inventive. But was it the challenge? It wasn't the challenge. But So then e but what about Eva Destruction? It was the challenge. Did she, did she give you basic bitch? Very. Did she give you zombie? Zombier? Zombri, she gave me. She gave you Party City. So ultimately, Victoria picks Astrid and Abora to be in the bottom two. Do you agree? I do. I feel, now that you actually said it, that Astrid was a human pretending to be a zombie, trying to get by. And ultimately, Abora was not a prom. She was not a prom. No, she wasn't. She wasn't. And. That, that's why I was like, oh! but I was like, yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. Uh, Melissa was really bad in the zombie challenge, but. Melissa was still at prom. Yes, she was. She was. So they ascend the staircase of souls and everybody's shaking in their boots, which is different because everybody was there this time. Again, they were. Which is a gag, <laughs> which is the gag. I live. So ultimately, Abora drops down to oblivion. How do you feel? She's just season two sister. How do you feel about that? Two Abora season is two down. Three season two down. Three? Me, Erica, and oh, Abora. That's true. How do you feel? Um, you know, how do I feel? I feel like I shouldn't have gone home in the first place. 
and I probably would have won this challenge. Let's just say what it is. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is written. So she must fall. In the stars. So she fell. Bye, Abora. You're gone. Bye-bye. For real this time. Imagine somebody quits next week and she comes back. I would die. No. I would die. No more love triangle. So that was the episode, you guys. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? Make sure you guys share, like, subscribe, hit that bell, and we'll see you guys next week. Once again, all of our social medias will be right down at the bottom. Kendra Onyx. Mayday. And that's the episode, bitches.